Let's combine a split squat targeting our lower body with a wood chop which targets our core as an anti-rotation exercise. I'm gonna show you with body weight first to get this down with body weight and then you can add a light dumbbell, kettlebell, or ball as external resistance. Okay, step your feet hip width apart and you can either step back into your split squat this way or start in a half kneeling position, step your back foot back just a little bit more and then press up to your split squat. Either way, we wanna get here. With our split squat, we have our hips squared, shoulders square, core braced, and we're lowering down, keeping our knee aligned in the same direction as our toes, drive through this front foot to come up, right? Down and up. Now with the wood chop, we are moving through three different positions. Hands down by our back leg, hands up to our chest, and hands up and across toward the sky. Here and up. Leg, chest, sky, right? We're resisting the urge to rotate through this, okay? So even as your arms move, your core will not. So what that looks like when we combine those things is we lower down, hands to leg. We start to come up, hands to chest. We come all the way up, hands to sky. Lower down, hands to chest. Get to the bottom, hands to leg, and Repeat this. Let's now add weight and then we'll talk about what to really know to avoid for the form, some of the common mistakes. So take a strong grip on whatever weight you're holding. Here or here works for the dumbbell. Just make sure that you are not gonna drop this puppy. All right. We'll start standing, hands in front of chest. Lower down and as you do, hands to leg. As you come up, hands to chest and at the top, hands to sky. Hands to chest, hands to leg, chest and sky. So you might already be seeing me kind of wobbling. The things that we want to avoid are rotation, right? Through our torso, we're resisting that. We want to avoid opening our hips out or shoulders out or crossing them, right? Everything here through our hips and shoulders remains as squared off as possible. You may also feel that your front knee kind of wants to cave in so keep your front knee pressing out so it remains aligned with your toes as you press your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel down to the floor. Grip the floor, okay? And then also make sure that this back knee remains aligned with your foot and your hip. You might notice it kind of wanting to cave in or out as well. All right, so lower down and up. Inhale down and exhale up. 